All right, FAQ number 59. When did the New Testament start? Well, right there. See, you have Old Testament over here, and here you have New Testament. So that's when it started, right? Well, they put that little title page in there so that you could see, you know, it says the New Testament of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Okay. So who brought in the New Testament? Jesus Christ. When did he bring it in? That's the question. The important question. You say at his birth. No. No, not at his birth. You say, well, the Old Testament wouldn't have been in, in effect there, would it? Yes, actually it was. Let me look up a verse here real quickly. I'm not sure where this would be. Matthew chapter... Eight. Matthew chapter 8 verse we'll start at verse 1 and when he was come down from the mountain great multitudes followed him and behold there came a leper and worshipped him saying Lord if thou wilt thou canst make me clean and Jesus put forth his hand and touched him saying I will be thou clean and immediately his leprosy was cleansed look at verse 4 and Jesus saith unto him see thou tell no man but go thy way Show thyself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. Is that New Testament doctrine? No. So when did the New Testament come in? The New Testament of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It wasn't his birth. Was it his ministry? No. Then what was it? Turn in your Bible to Hebrews chapter 9. Where do I want to start here? We'll start at verse 8. It says here, The Holy Ghost, this signifying that the way into the holiest of all was not yet made manifest, while as the first tabernacle was yet standing, which was a figure for the time then present, in which were offered both gifts and sacrifices, that we just read about back there in Matthew chapter 8, there, uh, offer the gift that Moses commanded, uh, Matthew 8 verse 4, Okay, it says there, both gifts and sacrifices, verse 9, Hebrews chapter 9, 9. Uh, that could not make him that did the service perfect as pertaining to the conscience, which stood only in meats and drinks and divers washings and carnal ordinances imposed on them until the time of reformation. All right. If you have, if you have a new version, one of these new satanic Vatican versions, they'll say until the time of the new order or something like that. Crazy. Um, but verse 11, But Christ being come and high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered in once, not like the Catholics with a continual mass thing of the Eucharist, you know, human sacrifice ceremony, entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us, for if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of an heifer sprinkling the unclean sanctifieth to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? Now look at verse 15. And for this cause he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament, testament they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. For where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. For a testament is of force after men are dead. Otherwise it is of no strength at all while the testator liveth. When did the New Testament begin? It wasn't the birth of Jesus. It wasn't his ministry. It was after his death. The New Testament, if you want to look at when it actually begins, it begins in Matthew chapter 27. Yep, Matthew chapter 27 is where you have 
the New Testament actually beginning. And of course, you know, it doesn't mean that from Matthew 27 on back through then is the New Testament. No, because you have the four accounts there in the four different Gospels, and they're each giving accounts of Jesus Christ before he died on the cross. So, in all the four Gospels, the entire time that you have Jesus on the earth, his earthly ministry there, you're dealing doctrinally with the Old Testament. That's why Jesus is telling them to go and do sacrifices and things and marry, you know, sacrifices a turtle dove. And, and there's all this stuff about the Old Testament law because they're still doctrinally in the Old Testament. Okay, now that, that time period there, there's the kingdom of heaven is being preached. So it's a little bit different than the, than the Old Testament, but, you know, I don't want to get too technical here. But the New Testament begins after Jesus dies on the cross. So hopefully that answers your question.